Hi, welcome to Relationship Ready. I'm Kevin. Thanks for coming. Today, we're going to talk about differences, and specifically, religious differences. We're going to define them. We're going to talk about some of the conflicts, and we're going to talk about some of the skills necessary to be able to overcome those differences and move forward, even though you got significant differences with your religious values or practices to make relationships work because we all have differences. It is important to know your own beliefs. Look back on what you grew up with, what the values that were poured into you and what you accepted and what you denied within your family structure, within your religious structure, within your lack of religious structure, which is okay too, because no matter what, there were some values that you were taught both systemically and then individually by those that were role modeled for you or parented you, whether it was your parents or not. And so once you know your beliefs, you can start to identify what some of the differences are that makes it less personal and even more deeply personal also, because our values and beliefs are what makes us most offended and most connected to be able to most connect with others that share us and that we can be most vulnerable with. And we are most vulnerable with those that we can overcome the conflicts about our most important issues. Sometimes those are the values of religion. His values can be common because even in many different religions, whether you're Christian or whether you're Jewish or whether you're Muslim or whether you're a Christian scientist or a Scientologist, there may be some commonalities in your values like supporting others or caring for those less fortunate. And if you can find those values that are common within the different religions, that's a place to start. Even though the values might be common, the practices and the rituals may be vastly different. And so it's important to understand what your practice and rituals are and why they're important to you. Are they because you always done them and that's just tradition? Are they reflect your values and who you want to be? And that's important to you too. Because the practice and rituals that you do on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, on an annual basis for holidays, for celebrations, for mourning losses, are the ones that define who we are and define where we came from and create conflicts, which is why holidays are some of the most loving and conflictual times for families, as are weddings and funerals. Because those are the rituals that are practiced where we put up against your values and your religion practices and my values and my religion practices have to come together and either merge or separate. And in order to separate, they conflict or they conflict and then merge. And that's how we bond together with different religions. And bonding those together creates our own traditions. So it's important to identify, this is my old tradition, this is my old ritual. I like this part of it. Will you accept and come together with me on that part of it? Because that's how we make new traditions. Maintain our own values and build and accept other values of others. So what are the skills we need to make religious conflict into closer connection and support? Research is vital to understand where do I come from and where does my partner come from? Where do my relationships come from? There's some old great books that are probably outdated now that uh, are about uh, being able to identify the history of each religion of where they came from. The Tai Chi, the Bible, the Quran. Those are practicing tools to research. And How to Find a Perfect Stranger is a book somewhere on my bookshelves. And there's similar ones like it to identify the rituals and practices of religion and culture. And the more research we do about ourselves and others, the more empathy and understanding we're looking for. And acceptance is essential because if a, you have a strong value and your partner has a strong value, the more acceptance you practice, not just as a thought, but as an action, 
the more you can work through the conflicts and the differences in your values and your religions and your practices and your rituals. And you get to decide together what you want your new rituals to be. In order to make it work, you make decisions. And the more effectively you can do decision making together and individual and go, this is what's important to me. This is what I would like. This is what's important to you. This is how we can make this work. Let's do this. Making those decisions makes it so much easier to get through the conflicts and create the connections. The techniques to do this, active listening, hearing and feeding back what the important things from each other are. Listening for faith. Faith is what guides us. Faith is what allows us to leap forward into taking risks and into relationships and listening when your partner takes a leap of faith and is afraid but does it anyway. And getting support from our families and our partner's families to hear the perspectives and the stories and the traditions that they once had and that they brought forward into your partner, into yourself. And families have a rich history and communicate differently all the time. And the more you can learn about those differences and accept those differences and listen to those differences, the more you can merge to become a cohesive unit with your own traditions that fit whatever religious values you choose and decide to maintain and adopt. So what do we talk about today? We talk about religious differences, what creates the conflict and how to overcome them and how to research and understand traditions, accept them, and create your own traditions to be receptive to each other and to our values and to our core of who we are and where we came from, to be able to have faith that this relationship might work so we can all be more relationship ready. Thanks for watching. Please support, subscribe, like. Let's talk about this more and tell me what else you want to hear. Thanks for coming.